Good day and welcome to 501 Matli, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given this diagram of a circle, and inside there are two medium-sized circles and two small circles. We're told that the diameter of the largest circle is 48 centimeters. With that, we're to determine the diameter of each of the small circles. So, pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'm going to be solving it this way. So first, let's see, we know that the diameter of the largest circle is 48 centimeters. So we can determine some radii using the formula that radius is half of the diameter. So for the largest circle, the radius will be half of 48, which is 24 centimeters. And then for the medium circle, we know that it's going to be half of 24, which is 12 centimeters. Then let's make some construction lines and input some of those values that we know. So that is the radius of the medium circle, which is going to be 12. That is also a radius, so that's also going to be 12. That's the radius of the large circle, so that's going to be 24. We're looking for the radius of the smallest circle, so if we put that on, that's going to be R. This labeled in blue is also going to be R, and this line in red, that is going to be 24 minus R. So if we label those points as A, B, and C, we see that we have a right angle triangle and we can apply Pythagoras' theorem, where we'll have that the square of AB plus the square of BC is equal to the square of AC. Substituting our values, we'll have the square of 12 plus the square of 24 minus R is equal to the square of 12 plus R. Expanding and simplifying, we'll have 144 plus 576 minus 48R plus R squared is equal to 144 plus 24R plus R squared. Next, we notice that we're adding 144 on both sides so we can cancel those. And the same thing goes for the R squared. So we're left with 576 minus 48R is equal to 24R. Transposing, we'll have 576 is equal to 24R plus 48R, which gives us 72R. Therefore, R will be 576 divided by 72, which gives us 8. So if the radius is 8, then the diameter that we're looking for will be double that amount, which gives us that the answer is 16 centimeters. Did you get it right? One last thing, I just want you to notice that in general, for an arrangement of circles like this, the diameter of the smallest circle will be one third the diameter of the largest circle as we previously saw. In other words, 16 is one third of 48. As always, if you found this video useful or you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.